In this video, I show how to use filters to load data on demand without using any R scripts. So data on demand is typically used when you have an external data source that, that contains a lot of data um, and you don't want to slow down Spotfire by loading all of that data into your DXP. Or maybe some of the data in that external data source is not relevant to your analysis. So you only want to take some of that data into Spotfire. So in this example, uh, I'm going to be adding data from a Microsoft SQL server and loading that data on demand in two different ways. Okay, so this is my table that I have saved in a Microsoft SQL server. And if you look down here, you can see that this table has over 8 million rows of data. Uh, we probably don't want to load that much data into Spotfire because it would really bog it down and it would make everything run a lot slower. So we're going to limit the data that we load into Spotfire with the data on demand feature. So we'll start by adding a data connection to Microsoft SQL Server. So when you do this, your server and authentication settings are going to be different for your machine. So type in the server name and then the authentication method if you want to use Windows or SQL Server authentication and then put in your username and password and click connect. And then select the database that you want to load data from. So mine is called OKProd. OK uh, this is actually production data from the state of Oklahoma. And then click OK. So this will show you the list of tables that are within that, the database that you selected. And I'm going to pull data from the production database. So select the table that you want to bring in and then click Add. So this will show you any views that are associated with the table. I don't have any views, so it just shows the one data table and then all of the columns associated with this table. You don't have to include all of these columns. You can uncheck them, but I'm going to leave them all checked for now. And then click OK. So on the next screen, you have an option to select the load method. You can either import the data table or keep the data table external. You would use the keep data external option, usually when you have a large amount of data uh, that's too large to fit in memory. If you select this method, it could slow down your, your file or it can make it really slow to access because every time you change something about the visualization, a new query is sent to the external data source. So in this case, a new query is sent to the server for calculation, and then that data is sent back to Spotfire to reload it. So the other option, import data table, this actually loads the data from your external source and stores it in memory, in your computer's memory, and it saves that data with the DXP. Since we're going to use the data on demand to limit the amount of data that we're loading, I'm going to select in memory. Now the next option is load data on demand. So you want to check this box and then click settings. And that gives you a list of all of the columns associated with your data table. In my example, I only want to load wells from the Mississippi formation. So formation is one of the columns in my data table. So I can scroll down to formation. In your file, you can pick any column that you want to limit the data on. So click the column that you want to change or that you want to limit data based on and then click Define Input. So there's two different options for the input. You can select a value, so that's one unique value, or a range of values. So in our example, since we're selecting only wells in the Mississippi formation, we're going to use values. However, if you wanted to specify a range of values, such as only return wells that produce between zero and a thousand barrels per day, you could select range. So this example, select values, and I'm going to type in fixed value. So you can either type it directly into the box. I could type Mississippi, or if you click select, it'll give you a list, all of the unique values within the column that you have selected. So here's a list of all of the formations available. I can use the bar at the top to search for Mississippi. And I'll scroll down to this one and then click OK. So now we're saying that we're going to load data on demand based on the fixed value of Mississippi from the formation column. Now click OK and check OK. And then click OK to load the table. Okay, so this table has been loaded and you can see that we have 54,996 rows. And we can verify that only data from the Mississippi formation was loaded. So I just added a data table and we can go to the formation column. 
there's formation. And if we scroll down, we see that Mississippi exists in every single row. So that's one way that you can load data on demand. But the problem with that way that is that it's it's kind of clunky if you want to go back and change it. It's not very user friendly. You have to go through several different steps to change it from Mississippi in this example to something else. Um, another way that you can do it is using filters. So I'll show you how to do that next.